What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Recently, you brothers have brought to my attention that Meg the Stallion had quite the interview with Hillary Clinton and obviously Hillary Clinton's daughter, Chelsea Clinton. And I've only watched a small snippet of the interview because that is which um, I'm going to be talking about today. I'm, I'm only concerned with that particular small snippet revolving around her uh, collaboration with WAP. Uh, if you guys understand what that means with Cardi B. I will take that time to play that right now. And I'm going to deal with the nonchalant responses from Hillary Clinton and Chelsea Clinton. Chelsea follows rap music. She has ever since she was a little girl. But I kind of came to awareness of you with the Cardi B WAP. I've always wanted to do a song with Cardi. As soon as she sent me the song, I think I sent it back to her like the next day. And it was just so exciting. The men, they seem so confident in what they're saying, and they don't have no problem with talking about their sexuality and how they're going to have sex with you. So I was like, well, <laughs> I could do that, and it's going to sound fire coming from a woman. It's great to see women be so kind of fierce. That is my life's mission, <laughs> to make sure that I'm always unapologetically me. So, guys, you heard what the interaction was there. Let me tell you guys something number one democrats and liberals white liberals what i've what i've noticed from them is what they encourage from the black community and they feel that it's so great do you ever notice that they never participate in those things i'm talking about the leadership class for example you will find all kinds of particular incentives to have or help single mothers you know certain stipends and things like that and why caring for single mothers is such a great thing you know and especially your liberal left states nevada california oregon and the person who's pushing these bills is married always usually very rarely do they participate in the same buffoonery that they're encouraging you to do. They will tell you all day. I think that's great. That you're sexually expressing yourself. When at the same time. You will never see Chelsea Clinton. Expressing herself. Like Meg the Stallion. Because it is a disgrace. To the family. How dare you. Go out there. And do that. Chelsea Clinton know better to do that. Barack Obama kids, Molly and they, they know better. Sasha, they know better to do that. They know better. But for us, we think it's great to be expressing ourselves in ways that stereotype the community that we come from. It's amazing. Now, let me talk about, uh, to you young women out there, women out there who have a problem with black men disrespecting you. You know what? Let me, let me kind of leave it so you can understand it. What about black men? A lot of black men have a problem with black women not wanting to submit, right? And so what do you tell us? You are not leading. You're not providing. You are not acting like a man that needs to be respected for those black men who have that. Okay, well, what do you do every day? That's the question. How much money are you making? What do you do in your industry? What are the fruits of your labor? And you don't have those fruits of the labor, so you want me to submit to that as a black woman? What do y'all say? Hell no. Because, see, women are smart enough to make men do something to earn their submission. And sometimes you don't even earn it. Right? Okay. So we know that about women. Now, here's what I want to deal with. I want to deal with this. With the same kind of thinking, here's my question to a lot of women out here today. This is what I want to do. Number one, if you like Meg Thee Stallion 
And if you're the kind of woman who wants to express yourself in that way, do you find it that men will have a hard time respecting you in the way that you might desire? Just like a man, if he's going outside wearing his pants off his behind, he's not um, looking like a man that has decency, you would have a problem with that. But now if you sexually express yourself and you're twerking everywhere, don't you find it very difficult for some man to have a problem with you with that or would want to avoid you? See, here's where we're, here's what we have. We have rules for men and not very many rules for women with the encouragement of no rules for women come at the top because there's an agenda to have no rules for women. Because if you have rules for women and they're not tied to their men, then you get chaos. Want to know some of the, the least performing women in the family structure? I'll tell you. Women without men. Or women not tied to any men. Okay? Let me let me talk to talk to you about the Money Guy Show. I like this podcast. Right? Two guys from Tennessee. If you want to even talk about how financially women perform, let's deal with that. The women who make the most money in the nation, the richest women, 86% of millionaires are married. Right? They're not going around expressing themselves in any kind of you know ridiculous way. There are married women who are financially fiscal, usually conservative, right? And they have intentional goals to build their wealth. Wanting to be femme women. These are the women who are the highest performing women typically in society. So why does it, why is it that, that the, the left is so interested in, in, in Meg Thee Stallion? Why are they talking to her? Because they want others to do the same thing. Literally, when you have no sort of rules for your women or your men, you are easily controlled because you're looking for somebody to lead you because you can't lead yourself because you have too much chaos going on. They're not going to go to the Arabic community and say this, right? They don't need to. You know why? Because the Arabic community is not going to have the women out there do- doing the same things that, you know, in, in the Muslim community. It's not going to happen. The Latina community? No. Asians? Never. When they go to them, they have a different conversation. See, they don't meet up with our intellectuals talk about actual things we need to do. That was in the 60s. Now, today, they go and interview Megan Stallion. The Hispanic community won't even allow it. No, you come and talk to our best people if you want to talk to him. You won't talk to Meg or Cardi B about our issues. Because all you're going to do is talk about how we need to go ahead and keep on expressing ourselves. Sexually, how great you think it is. Keep having all these kids out of wetlock. Then you don't even know that most ladies that are the number one victims of being evicted are black women in America. That way you need us and we can never give you nothing. That's it. That's what we're dealing with, guys. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. Another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.